This has got to be one of the cuntiest makeup looks ever created. Hi, my name is Davina, and if you're new here, welcome to Cunt City. <clears throat> Taking a small angle brush with a very light, light brown shadow, start sketching out the design. This gives you the freedom to correct wherever and whenever you want, as well as getting used to the proportions and getting your hand warm and mind in flow, in tune with the art that is your unique, beautiful face. Since doing this with more complex looks, I find that I'm a thousand percent more comfortable and it gives you insight into the details of said look. Like you can see the sleigh forming. Breaking it down into parts, we're looking at one portion and focusing your entire being on that one. While I'm mapping, I broke this down into three parts. First, I focus drawing a curved line on the front slash inner corner of my eye upwards towards the brow. Leaving a gap, leaving a space, then drawing the middle portion. Imagine drawing a slanted lowercase n, making sure it follows the same curve as that inner corner and outer corner, an exaggerated liner from the corner of my eye outwards. Right above that, another curve. I drew it roughly a couple of times to get the feel of it, then clean it up each time. A good trick I always use is that you slowly dot where you want the lines to go and then connect those dots. After we mapped it and we're happy with it, go in with a transition shade. A light, light brown transition shade. Like how we do with regular eyeshadow looks. Starting from that very first line we drew, adding that transition all along that line. Stay on that one side of the line and don't go past the middle bridge of your nose. So now we're thinking gradient. Going deeper with a medium brown, stay as pussy tight to that line that we drew. So the idea is that the deeper the shade we go, the closer to the line it should be. Gradient, gradient. Take your lovely time working on each part and don't look at the other areas. You get overwhelmed that way, or at least I do, because I'm in a constant state of impeding doom and anxiety and that's how I go. Keep a light hand, work with minimal product at a time, and switch back and forth between brushes when needed. For the darkest detail, use a short, compact, angled brush to draw that line with a brown, black, or black shadow. Then use a very smooth, cold black eye pencil to tightly line only the line as the darkest shade. Moving to the second part, the middle, that slanted N, super curved C, what have you, we are doing the same thing. Work your brush with that curved C or N shape, just keeping that in your imagination as you are applying. For me, having an analogy or a shape to adhere to helps me stay focused. So lay down that same transition shade and then again, the deeper we go in shadows, the closer to the line we also go. That line is a boundary, something that men are very good at fucking crossing. But we respect ourselves, so we're staying within our lovely lines here. If anyone dares to cross that line, we will erase its damn existence menacingly with a Q-tip. Only cunt is allowed here. Miss Muse, are you okay? No. And I never want to be. I like unhinged. So when we get toit toit to that line, again with a tiny angled brush with a dark shadow, line that line. And then at the very line itself, the thinnest, go in with a cool liner. Support your drawing hand with the other for more steady shading. It helps a lot. For the end piece here, we're again keeping mindful of those lines and adding transition and deepening. And as we deepen, we're also using smaller brushes to fit. I think I accidentally dipped into a different brown, but that's okay. I just added it to the other areas afterwards. So that end piece, you can stop it right at that tail of your brow or you can extend it outwards. I went a little further. Also make sure to take small, clean blending brushes to diffuse the shadows. My skin is extremely dry from Tret. I noticed around my eye it was getting patchy. So for the fine lines, I began stamping the pigment in. Kind of like what you do with a beauty blender, you would stamp and press so that your skin doesn't get dragged or flaky. After that, use a concealer, a small q-tip to clean up. Now for one of my favorite effects is highlight. It just adds such a beautiful contrast to the deep browns and the dark lines. So those gaps that we left, softly with a small brush, fill that in with white shadow. Now for the bottom lash line, I started from the middle of my eye, so like my pupil area, keeping tight to that lower lash and curving it towards my outer corner and then out. I actually forgot about this area until now. I love lining this part. It's so satisfying, especially when you add the shadows. There's layers in this bitch. And we're just doing the exact same thing as we did with the other parts. Okay, okay, so now, now, those white highlights we added, we're adding a hush of blue. It's gonna be a blue white. Now keeping tight to the other side of that line, now we're adding those baby blue pigments and oh my god, it's gonna be so pretty. It just looks like light coming from behind. And for that outer corner, focus that blue pigment in that teensy weensy V, that corner, and just let that shit die fuse out. Next, my favorite. Using my finger, I'm dabbing some Urban Decay Star Cowgirl and Space Cowboy from their Moon Dust palette, which, oh my god, this palette is so sexy. It's so sex. The glitz, the glamour, the stars in your eyes. If I were to choose, though, Space Cowboy all the way. That is the one that started it all with the most glitz of the glamour. The cool liner again and lining that bottom detail and tight lining in that waterline between those lashes just to avoid that treacherous gap that peeks through in between our lashes and our falsies. We don't want that. We want to blend together and be cohesive. Don't neglect the bottom lashes. Take a mascara, turn the wand vertical, and take your time shaping. Like, oh my god, work girl, slang girl, fuck it up, B. I had some velvet teddy on, but added some peri-peri. Ink velvet lippy. If you love creative looks, by the way, I have a 
YouTube channel with more looks. So, champion. Ooh, Vogue, pose, drop it, ho. Okay, love you, bye.